So let's make a practical example. Let's pretend that a child was born in a small town with very poor connections to big cities or anything, and his family um, is is poor and and don't have like don't allow him to have a lot of economical opportunities uh, or support in 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 pursuing a career. Let's say that this kid is a skinny and not very tall kid. Uh, the town he lives in, it doesn't, doesn't offer many things to do. This kid could grow up bored to death, starting to get into some kind of addiction, and end up in a pretty bad life situation. Or he could become passionate of a sport that would help him get rid of tension and energy, like martial arts or boxing or you know physical sports like that, without really achieving a very high results or, or, or anything, because... Um, he, his body is not shaped, is not genetically, you know, um, adapt to pursue that type of career in, in a professional way. And so this is what I meant by the genetic boundaries that we were born with. But let's say that this kid um, get, gets into art, uh, starts to play an instrument or painting or, you know, whatever, uh, you know, whatever type of non physical demanding passion that he could get into that will lead him to have a very successful career because his uh, his genetic boundaries don't, are not limiting him in this occasion and he has this uh, a lot of time and is trying to find something that, that saves him from this situation and so he becomes very passionate and let's say music starts to he gets, starts, starts to get recognized by his abilities on the drums and so that becomes you know something that he puts more and more time into it and um, then people starts to calling talented so is what we've just seen talent to me it looks more like making the best out of our limits but if that's what we mean for talent then yes we're there's a way that we, we are born with with talent that people b- are born with talent but they also grew into it 